If you had to serve your mother-in-law breakfast in bed every day of your married life, how long would you last? That's a question former dancer and actress Irene Halperin was forced to ask herself in 1933. Let's backtrack. In 1933, Irene Donnell married Victor Halperin. Who is Victor Halperin? He is the first person to direct a feature-length zombie film, and he's from Chicago. You know Dawn of the Dead, Night of the Living Dead, 28 Days Later, and The Walking Dead. But before all that, in 1932 comes Victor Halperin's White Zombie, starring horror film favorite Bela Lugosi. In cinema history, White Zombie is a big deal because, again, it is considered the first feature-length zombie film, and as this book argues, White Zombie serves as the archetype for most other zombie movies that come after it. Horror movies aren't my area of expertise, so I'll leave White Zombie's history at that. But let's return to my initial question about serving your mother-in-law breakfast in bed. In 1923, filmmaker Victor Halperin and Irene Donnell marry in Chicago. The couple moves to New York City, but there's a catch. The filmmaker's mother and brother move with them. From the get-go, Irene protests this living arrangement, and after 10 years, she has enough. Her reason for wanting out of the marriage? Too much mother-in-law, the press reports. Not only was Irene forced to serve Victor's mother breakfast in bed every morning, but she also gave her husband $35,000 to finance one of his movies, and he would not repay her. Sounds like a good backstory for a Chicago-based zombie film, don't you think?